Okay, I want to share a quick tip on adjusting your intermediate clutch clearance on a TH350. So, occasionally you're going to have a situation where you discover that there's too much clutch clearance in the uh, intermediate stack up for your TH350. So, what you can do to mitigate that is to take a used uh, 4L60E or 700R4 low reverse clutch plate. Uh, one that you pull out of a unit that you're tearing down and actually take off all of the remaining friction material and then what you're going to do is use the remaining metal um, you know base cut it in half and put that in right underneath the intermediate piston so that you can bring the piston up a little bit and reduce that clearance so it's very straightforward to remove um, friction material, especially if the clutch plates are already kind of burnt, which I don't see that too much in 700R4, 4L60Es, but um, every once in a while I'll get one in that has just smoked, uh, you know, low reverse clutches for whatever reason, and, you know, I, I'll grab those up, keep them aside, and strip off all of the uh, remaining clutch material. So all you need is a razor blade like this, um, an angle grinder with a, um, you know, a uh, sanding pad or sanding disc, and then some cutters because you need to cut the plate in half so that you can, uh, you know, fit it in because it won't just drop in, um, you know, into the uh, piston pocket by itself there on the uh, pump cover. So this is what it looks like when you clean everything off. As you can see, it's all been stripped of uh, clutch material and, you know, you're down to the bare metal. So what you're going to do is just going to take your, your razor blade and you're just gonna go around, you know, hold it in place as, as best you can and strip off all of this old clutch material. Fairly straightforward process. It doesn't take very long. You know, especially if you have a, a nice new sharp blade. And then once you got most of it stripped down, then you can grab your angle grinder and your wafer pad and just clean it up. Get that last little bit off and then you'll reduce it down to bare metal. I'm going to put my eye and ear pro on. And then just, I go away from me, so. And then just simply cut it in half. All right. So now that you got your two halves, All you're going to do is you're going to take your pump cover and you're going to drop the two halves in just like that. And then your piston, let's go right on top. So now, as you can see, we've created some additional um, height in terms of how far the piston is. Uh, you know, coming out of its pocket, and that should shrink down your clearance to where you need it. All right, thanks for watching.